Hey everyone, thank you for stopping by this video because I need your input. I really, really, really need direct input from viewers right now. So let me let me show you and explain, well, mostly explain what's going on. Uh, new sets are being released because we're getting up close to August 1. So over the past week, almost a week, new stuff has been slowing up. Slowing up? <laughs> Showing up slowly in stores. I just went to a few more stores today and got some more little stuff. Actually, there's mm, one thing that I forgot to bring in. But anyway, that was, that was just one thing. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and show you what I got. First of all, up to this point, I got so lucky today. I went to four, five, I think it was five different stores today alone. And in three Target stores amongst those, I was able to get, I believe, hopefully I got this right, the entirety of the 10th anniversary Mega Constructs Halo Heroes figure set, including the Didact and Master Chief and Cortana, all the, all the good ones. This should be correct. This should be 10 here and there should be no duplicates. Yeah, these have been just gobbled up by scalpers and thrown on eBay for $150 for the set. And they're supposed to be $5 each retail. And I'm just not paying scalper prices anymore. It's just completely out of hand. It's ridiculous. If I can get the stuff legitimately like this, I will. If I can get stuff at a very reasonable markup and I really, really want it, then I may. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to support that that aftermarket just to to get stuff that's uh, it's just not even that that worth it to me. Uh some of the new Lego movie the, I guess the last series of Lego movie sets came out. I wanted this one. I also want the Sparkle Babies one. Uh none of the stores I've I've been to in the past week have the Sparkle Babies one yet. There's also a uh, ship, but I'm not going to get that. I don't think anybody's going to be that interested in it and I'm not that interested in it. Did I mention I'm not going to get it? Yeah, I'm not going to get it. This is one of the new My uh, Minecraft sets. There are two others. One of them I have already reviewed. And then there's the uh, the Creeper Mine one. Was there one other one as well? I thought it was just three. Anyway, there's at least one more. And I think I'm going to wait for that Creeper Mine one before I do the review on this. I'll do the review on this and that probably in the same video. It depends on how big that one ends up really being. And then this was one of the friend sets. You know, I haven't covered friend stuff in quite a while at all, just because nobody cares. Nobody wants to see my reviews of friend stuff. They always want, they, they want to go to a channel that has a female voice behind it. And that's perfectly fine. You know, that that's completely legitimate. I'm not mad about that one bit, but I personally wanted to check out all these new pieces. So this is something that I wanted to get. So I'm going to review it. I'm going to build it and I'm going to review it no matter what. And then this one over here, the lighthouse one was one that I found a little bit interesting. I thought it looks kind of cool, but I also figured that a fair number of, of you would want to see this as well. So I got this for both of us, <laughs> if you will. Uh, there are more from this series, but I doubt that I'll be getting those. And then I got the big three-in-one twin rotor helicopter set, which looks like it has a pretty decent minifig-sized uh, main helicopter with some space inside of it, which is good. And it rebuilds into a jet, which looks eh, okay, maybe a little bit dated. Not, no, not the, not the, the top of class for Lego Creator stuff. And then a, a hovercraft there, which also looks just okay to me. And then at least from the outside. And then the last one back there is, a, I think, a good one. Certainly a good one to get. And one that all of us are interested in, I'm sure. The Townhouse Pet Shop and Cafe, which is another three-in-one. All right. So here's... So that that's what I have. And I also got the Dragon Boat set and uh, something else that I'm forgetting right now. But there's still other stuff that's yet to be released. And here's what I need your help with. I need to know what you want me to do with these things and going forward a little bit, what you, what you want to see, because for example, with this, I think that that's a good thing to build and to review and to, to share with, 
with you, the viewers. However, I don't personally feel like it's worth my time to take all this apart because I only got one. It's a big set. It's expensive. I wasn't going to get three of these. I know that uh, the viewership on, on any video for this is going to be super low anyway. Not that many people care about this. I know plenty of people do, but relative to the total numbers, you know, in, in real terms, uh, it's, it's just not worth my time, especially when I personally don't have great interest in these. So let me know right now, based on what I just said, how important is it to you that I show you this and this, that I take the time to take all this apart and then rebuild it into this and then take all this apart and then rebuild it into this just to show you each of these for a minute or two on video. How, just be honest with me. How important is that to you to, to see all three? Uh, considering the fact, I mean, you don't have to consider this, but I, I'm putting it out there that what that results in is probably an hour, no, probably a couple hours of additional work for me that ultimately doesn't get to be put into Planetary Defense Force Base, City, possibly other things that are more interesting to me and also to more of you. So, yeah, put it on you. Let me, let me know what, what you think about that. Similarly, now this one I haven't really looked into that much myself just yet, so I'm going to be looking at it at the same time as you, and probably many of you have already seen more of this than I have. I've mostly just looked at kind of the box and, and focused on this. I haven't looked at the, the side build. So this, like I said, this I am definitely building up no matter what. I'm going to review this. I'm going to do a pure build. I'm going to do a speed build. I'm going to do a full review on that. But this is an almost 1,000 piece set. So that's two hours of work to build it one time. Then all that will need to be taken apart. And then looks like a great number of those pieces are used in probably this one. Ah, it's not that big, I guess. More than half. At least an hour. I'd say another three hours in total would it would take to do maybe more. But let's just say about three hours to do these two alternate builds here. Because they do need to be fully rebuilt. They're not using modular system. So what do you think about that? How important is it to you that I do these two rebuilds? Now, I feel I feel drawn to those, especially to this one. Now, this is actually interesting too, maybe a little bit a little bit open and and empty, but I don't know, it's kind of a nice little layout there. Uh, I personally am I'm drawn to this though. It just uh, looks interesting to me. It's something that I might want to do just on on my own time just, you know, for my my own purposes, my own desires. And then of course I would share that, you know, if I do that, that, uh, that rebuild, but tell me how important is it to you knowing that this could take like a half a day worth of city work away from this channel or set me back that far on getting through the other reviews of other things. Just generally speaking, understand that I am cutting back. I am continuing as I've been talking about for some time now, I'm cutting back on reviews that I do. They're just not that desired by viewers as much anymore. Um, there are still quite a number that I personally enjoy doing that I want to do. I would rather spend more time on my city personally, but I do like providing a service to viewers if enough people are going to you know, be able to appreciate that service. Like, I don't know if I'll continue to do more friend stuff after this. There are more, more friend sets in this very series for this very year that look interesting to me. But like, if nobody cares what I think about friend sets at all anymore, if, when I say nobody, I don't mean literally nobody, but you know, if a tiny, tiny number of people, comparatively speaking, care at all, then I just won't basically waste my time just being, you know, just being honest about it. Uh, Sparkle Babies is something that I'm going to do no matter what. I'm probably going to wait until I get Sparkle Babies and then do this and that in one video because this is really a small set and, and Sparkle Babies is even, uh, Good Morning Sparkle Babies is even, is it Sparkle Babies or is it Glitter Babies? I think it's Sparkle Babies. Uh, but that's one that I want. I want the babies from it to, to put into my city. And then, yeah, those, those two would, would go together. Well, yeah, a little bit of stream of of consciousness there a little bit of you know not not the most structured thought perhaps but 
that's where I'm at. That's what I'm thinking about. Also, if there are anybody, if there are any uh, folks watching this who are the the mega fans, I know that a lot of mega fans have been disappointed that I haven't been doing much mega stuff, but uh, it's been difficult to get some of the stuff, and it's another case of of priorities. Just so few people, relatively speaking, are interested in that stuff that it's difficult for it to be worth my time. Like I've had the Frost Raven for months and it's something that I personally am not interested in. And I know that a very small number of viewers are interested in. I've had the Infinity for also probably a month or so, you know, the huge once a year, giant, you know, really, really big, massive set with a box that's as large as all of these put together. That one I want to see on display, but it's gonna take me a day or two worth of work to build and film and review and all that and with you know call it two days worth of work i could do a lot of work on for instance the city or i could get most of this done you know it's all it's all about balance can't do everything as as just one person as much as i try and as little sleep as i actually get as much of my own self that i put into this channel there's a limit and i am i'm you know, I'm always balancing that that limit and, and the edges of that limit. So please let me know what you think specifically about uh, the alternate builds for this creator 3-in-1 over here and also for this creator 3-in-1 over here. Let me know if you're okay with me potentially uh, reviewing this and the Creeper Mine together. I might decide on my own to just make those separate anyway. But uh, you know, I, I can't listen to just the opinions of a couple people, even if those couple people, you know, keep repeating the exact same feedback. That's that's not enough. I need I need more people. I need more direct feedback, more direct actual comments. People telling me what you feel, what you what you think, what is actually important to you. So that's what I'm looking for. Also, if you have any thoughts about the friend stuff, and if you have any thoughts about me continuing with Mega Constructs Halo in general, if you're a fan of that. Thank you in advance. Really, really, really need your input. I do reviews for all of you. I don't do reviews for me. The stuff that I do for me is primarily custom work and work on my city. So uh, yeah, I'm really reliant on, on your input. And uh, failing that, I have to look at just numbers, you know, because those that's kind of the next level of, of raw input to me raw feedback so i look forward to any anything that you have to say please be candid and honest as long as you're as usual you know respectful and not using you know cursing or anything like that and i'll get to work building some of this stuff and talk to you again soon